Uh, guys, we have no lamb, so I have no stupid prop for you guys. Uh, instead, I will uh, just talk about uh, the horror film Lamb. I was excited for this one because I saw the trailer, and it was weird as shit. You got a concept of these farmers in the middle of nowhere, you know, sheep herders, um, have a baby, uh, or no, one of their sheep gives birth to this baby-like human lamb, but then there's maybe satanic stuff, or I don't know, the trailer's very creepy, mm -hmm. right? And it's like, are they going to let this thing live? And at one point you see him walking with the lamb with the shotgun, maybe the gun to kill the, the thing. And I was just, it's just weird. This is a little lamb baby. And his mother is like attached to the baby. So I had to see it. Love, love horror films. And I like A24. Mm -hmm. um, they I love do, horror films as well, but this... They do different things. This, no, yeah. not necessarily a horror. I mean, this is not scary. This is more... Uh, there was one terrifying call scene it? in this movie, though. <laughs> okay, we'll, yeah, we'll talk oh about God, it. Uh, <laughs> but so, <laughs> Lamb is one of those films. Um, do I recommend Lamb? Uh, kinda. Uh, you're either going to find this film fascinating or fucking boring and ridiculously stupid, right? Uh, I found it fascinating. And kind of stupid, but but like you know, <laughs> just fascinating. This is one of those slow burn films. Like we're talking, uh, it's what I like to call a little slice of life film, where the camera just dawdles. It goes about showing you everything. the day, everything, chewing, everything. chewing the on that are scenery, just, like, just doing shit, <laughs> just doing shit, just being <laughs> farmers, right? And that really. And it's that kind of stuff. Like I get annoyed with it at first. I'm like, come on. But once you, but once the film is like chapter one, chapter two, and it gets going, like I'm fucking what? fully immersed. What's the way for chapter four? I am fully immersed in in this <laughs> world one, and in this film and being farmers, and uh, and you know, and and I and the characters are interesting, and you you're you're likable, and you're wondering where the fuck is all this going, right? Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, what is it like to be a farmer out here? And what country were they in? Iceland. 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 Uh, yeah, beautiful, really beautiful. <laughs> beautiful cinematography, uh, harrowing, creepy music, um, and good acting. Just really great performances. Um, the sheep? Yeah. Well, th that's <laughs> a little hokey, you know. The CGI, it, it's it's very weird to look at this little lamb character, right? Uh, you know, and, and sometimes it works from certain angles, sometimes it doesn't. Uh, but, you know, clearly tragedy has befallen this couple before, and you've seen it in the trailer. They sort of adopt this creature uh, thing as their own baby. The wife doesn't give a, give the eye to the husband. It's like, you've been spending a lot of time in that boat. Right, and it never came That's up. I was, I was hoping thinking. that would come up at least once. Like, He's I got them been, Velcro like, looking, gloves. I would have been looking <laughs> like, what the fuck did you do? Dude, you've been fucking sheep on the farm, right? I was thinking, and then at some point, it's like, how is this going to go over with when guests come over or other family members come over? And it kind of deals with that. I thought at least it would be brought up there. No, mm. not, not brought up there. But Ultimately, I got what I wanted from the film. It was creepy. It was f interesting. It was morbid. And it was honestly sad and, and just well acted and good cinematography. But you have to like slow burn films. You have to like weird A24 stuff. You know, where it's good that there's a company out there that still makes these types of things in Hollywood. It's not yet another superhero movie or yet another big budget action film. Couldn't be any more different than what we saw right before No Time to Die. But I liked this film. What did y'all think? I uh, did not like this film. I'm the opposite of you. Uh, this is a nice heartwarming family movie. There's nothing horror about this. Uh, the acting, sure, it was fine. Other than that, like it's like a very a slow nice burn. heartwarming family. That's movie. what it is. I they try would to not describe this as that. At chapter all. one, chapter two, till the very end. There's a little. Psst. You're waiting all that time. <laughs> burn, burn, burn. Psst. That's it. And it, and it fizzled end. out for you. And the movie ends. <laughs> and it fizzled out. That's a slice of life. That's like the, you know three billboards no, in my, Missouri. My, my two hours. Wasted your time, wasted your gas. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so I didn't really like this one. Like, okay. I did like the acting, sure, but that's about it, man. 
Okay. Yeah, I, I think it was very well shot. I like the music. I like the acting. But I think this is one of the worst films I've seen in a very long time. <laughs> um, and I, I mean that. I'm not just doing it like to, to – like I think this is one of the worst. I think this is going to be a movie that, you know, if people are like, should I see this? It's like, no. And I like you weird – You should watch Climax. I man. fucking like I weird movies. I like slow burn. This is this is the kind of thing where it was a no burn movie because it just goes. Yes. And it's not burning. Nothing's happening. And then at the very end, there's just this tiny little blip at the very end of the movie. And I, they're supposed to be like, oh, man, what is that? How does this? And I just don't care because you've wasted all of my time up to that point. And yes. not only does nothing happen for, for me, payoff, for the though. whole movie, there's this random, like, sexually aggressive blackmailing, uh, like, not he's he's trying Brother. like he's like sexually assaulting the wife, mm-hmm. kind of trying to like grab Super her and awkward. like and it's just that it doesn't go anywhere. It doesn't mean anything. And so not only does <laughs> nothing happen, but there's stuff that I don't like that happens, and like, nothing ever things. elevates how much I hated that part. <laughs> so this is. In my Woo! opinion, <laughs> one of the worst things I've ever... I've watched Ed Wood movies, and I would rather those watch those because those are at least funny. There's great. a movie from 2006 called Black Sheep that you should... I it's actually to. a <laughs> horror movie <laughs> about sheep attacking human beings that you would, should watch, and that movie's fucking terrible. <laughs> and that movie is better it. than this movie. Man, I just think you that... You want to talk about worst, uh, f- you know, fucking crappy art film, you got to watch Climax from 2018. Oh, yeah, no. It's Dancing? also 824. is the no, worst no. fucking thing I've ever seen. I hated it. But this... But <laughs> The climax is artsy bad, and this is artsy, you know, good Left in my opinion. But you, but you guys hate it. <laughs> yes, yeah. yes. Okay. Hate it. Like hated it. Because I was going into, I guess it was my fault. I was going into like, uh, kind of like the the witch or uh, mm-hmm. hereditary. Like it's it's going on at the very end. Like stuff starts happening. This is just like real quick. Done. Does it, does it, stuff happens once. I yeah, even it's. I don't it's, even count down. I like, understand what you're, and you know, a certain part of me is disappointed uh, that it wasn't a certain type of film. This, no, I gotta say it in spoilers. Yeah, yeah it didn't go I the way movie, I thought either. Yeah, because I thought like it went out of nowhere. Because yeah. a movie that I'll talk about in spoilers, obviously. Okay. But. All right, yeah. so let's go to final verdicts and make this one a quick one. Okay, I think I'm probably being too generous with a four on this Ooh, one. Oh, way too generous, yeah, in my like opinion. I, yeah. <laughs> uh, I, me, personally, I didn't like it. Yeah. I was going in for the horror elements. Like, maybe it'll be something like a uh, slow burn. I'll wait for the end. I waited for the end. It's just uh, you, life of farmers, f- adopt this family. You this ever want to know what farmers like? Watch this I film. played the game. <laughs> I played the game. All right. Oh, farming so simulator. many simulators, <laughs> <laughs> and the race at its own. It's like, oh, this is very endearing. Uh, now the sheep is playing with the dog. He's playing with the cat. Oh, ain't that cute? I, I, I don't care. I don't care. Okay. I'm gonna give this a two. Oh, uh, oh! This this movie does not have Half. a so this Half. this this movie does not have the things that make it a, like what what we would consider a movie. It does not have a beginning, a middle, and the end because there it tells is you, chapter it, one. Well, yeah, there's there's three <laughs> chapters, but this movie Definitely. this movie goes. And then one thing happens, and then the movie ends. But there's not there's like a beginning part, I guess, where there's they they you know they're farmers and they discover this thing, and then nothing happens forever. <laughs> then there's like the rapist brother type thing in the middle, if you want to consider that a middle, maybe. Yeah, um, that I didn't like. There's this this, very weird. This movie was a colossal for me, colossal waste of time. This is a five minute short story that someone blew up into ninety yeah, minutes. I can see that. No fucking reason. And I, I love short stories. I like I, I, this. This movie does not make any sense to me. Who the fuck gave these people money? And there's no tension. There's no Too comedy. Much. It's not endearing. It's not emotional. It's none of yes, those it things. Is. It was endearing to Joe. Joe was reading the IGN review where they gave this a ten out of ten. <laughs> they gave what? it an eight. I was like, oh, eight out of ten. Are, like, guys those fucking, fucking idiots. Crazy. Like they don't even watch you the movie. Crazy. And yeah. yeah. Hey, well, you know, I liked the movie. I don't give a fuck though, if IGN man. likes it or not. I liked it. I thought it was good psychological horror. It was fucking interesting. It, it, it was like, where is this going? It was a slice of life movie. So I look at it completely different. But I have. Grown accustomed to A24 films. We see them all together. We see them again. And I feel like y'all weren't ready for it. We see it just as many. What's, the last, yeah. what's the last one we saw? I mean, we we went and saw Hereditary well, together. We yeah. saw Midsummer no together. I fucking love Hereditary, by the way. On a second watch, that's on an A24. Gets. Well, we see them all together. Yeah, it comes at night. Didn't like it. Hereditary. Comes at night. I did not like. Yeah, I, I like Hereditary. Is A24. Than it comes Hereditary at night. is high life. You want to talk about it? shit? One? Nothing that happened. It comes at night. I life fucking after hated Beth. That one. I love that one. That life one was after good. what? Beth. Oh, I haven't seen that one. You saw it. Yeah, I saw mm. that one. 
they have some good ones, but this is a stinker for me. All right, gotcha. And uh, I know what Chad's going to say. It's like, oh, this is supposed to be like, oh, they lost their child. They're trying to do this. Yes. It's supposed to be emotional. We get that. We just didn't like it. Okay, that's perfectly fine. Uh, I did like it, however. Now, I agree. You know, I didn't, ex- you know, the, it does feel very, very plotting, bloated in certain areas on just scenery and just slice of life stuff. And it does feel a little bit like a short story it would blown have been up. Great, but I thought that. that the performances <coughs> were fantastic enough and the concept interesting enough and just unlike anything I've seen in a little while with a moral. There's a moral of the story here. There's there's grief, there's loss, there's uh, you know I'm happy what happened then. I mean, I'll tell you exactly. Why. I will get to it in the spoilers. I I kind of <laughs> am too. You know, it's not it's not all it's not all black and white in the film. You know, no, anyways. It's so not a white, but she. Yeah, yes, this is true, Joe. <laughs> very good, very good. So I would go with probably. I mean, I don't think it's the greatest film ever because you know it, it is pretty slow. Um, I'm gonna go with a seven out of ten. I think it's above average psychological type of horror. There's nothing overtly scary here, but it's just One a thing. cool concept. We'll we'll talk about it in spoilers. I so, can say I can no, tell you now. Seven not, out of ten. Is, he, I love these types of films. Let him tell. I him. like Hereditary better. I like Midsummer better. I like yes, you know the Lighthouse. Better. That's an art film better. that we all like. Yeah, he didn't like it. You have to you watch it. You fucking multiple. bastard. Yeah, I remember like, that now. It's one of those that you have to watch again totally and fine. again. You're allowed to not like stuff. You're not okay. light. Right. You're allowed to not like stuff here, except I'm going to call you out for it. That's fine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so that's it. We can talk what? spoilers here. Listen to a spoler. The scariest we, thing in this whole movie. We're going to talk spoilers. It's not a spoiler. It's not a spoiler. It's not a spoiler. No, These no, fucking dirty talk- white people make spaghetti in the worst way possible. And the ter- <laughs> the scariest thing in this movie is they take spaghetti right out of the water and they put it in a colander and they let it sit on the table till it gets cold. And it's one <laughs> big, clumpy, nasty mess. And then they have all this like, Ew, tomato that's sauce. A real horror right and there. then <laughs> they go to pick it up and it's just like this big, nasty clump. It's like you're supposed to last two minutes, you finish the, the pasta in the sauce. The and it doesn't know. turn into this nasty, clumpy thing. And uh, there's I nothing going it. on I this whole movie. Alex. This movie is so garbage He's and I'm like, so bored. The- or most hor- horrific it's like that thing is in the, the scariest film. thing in this whole movie. But I like that's the pasta only scene. With sauce on you ruined it. food. Uh, anyways, right, that's now. the way they that's do it. it in Iceland, I guess. Now okay. We'll go so to now it. let's go to the spoilers. Thank you all so much for watching. If you want to stick around on why you should <laughs> not watch this film, according to Joe and Alex, and why you should, uh, meet you in the spoilers. Hey, welcome to the spoiler section. Okay, so, um, I, you know, so where does this, the, 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 the film opens with a, what I was hoping would be like a satanic creature, or maybe the mother lost her baby and did a satanic ritual at, to, for a baby replacement, something like that. Demon, Satan, visiting, none of nope. that. None of that. So that was disappointing. That's why I'm, you know, because I think this movie has that capability of being a 10 out of 10 for me if it went in that direction. But for what it was, I liked it. You know, just because it doesn't go in the direction I want, I still liked it. But I still think it was bloated in in certain parts and uh, at a little too slow in plotting for me. And they're right. The payoff is relatively short. I mean, you got all this slice of life, and then there's the payoff, and it may or may not be a big enough payoff for you. So what is the there, payoff? There, nothing explained. So the, well, Literally the, nothing is explained. A sheep has a half-human baby. At the very end, there's a half-human sheep man that kills the dog and everybody else, and then nothing is explained, and the movie ends. So but, what... But I, but Alex, I know you appreciate these types of films I do. where n- things the, aren't outright explained to you. you no, I saw that too. Oh, yeah. But there's nothing to so interpret here. So here's my here. interpretation. Yes, there's. This is I. I think it's Icelandic lore. There's creatures. Yeah, there's a certain respect that. that you I mean, have I was to give to they nature. Would give some more about she that. killed the fucking lamb's mother. Yes. Yeah. Prevented that that lamb who is bawing constantly at her window mm-hmm. when they take in the baby and try to make it their mm-hmm. own. She gets fucking annoyed, whips out a gun, fucking shoots the lamb in the head and buries it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And yeah. and that's payback when this creature shows up at the end of the film. By the way, the creature did show up at the beginning. 
and it was weird because it was like he, he he's <coughs> walking in the snow. Horses kind of move out of his way. He goes in the sheep. Sheep are all scared of him. And then I guess he chooses the sheep, but he doesn't actually have sex with it. He just like looks at it, and there's like a transfer. That's of how sex. Baby that, that, or they, you know, they have sex. Yeah. That's why I it guess goes. They cut it, away. It, well, it goes from complete blizzard snowstorm to spring. The spring lamb. Oh, okay, gotcha. Okay, so so what? Well, whatever. And and monster so has sex with the sheep. Monster mm-hmm. has sex with the sheep. Then the monster comes back at the end, and uh, because the tractor had broken down previously in the film, uh, the husband character goes to fix it, and while he does that, he brings a little lamb with him. And, um, you know, he tells the lamb how to get back in the future, which, you know, who knows, may pay off in the future. Maybe the lamb will come visit the the mother in the future. But anyways, um, that creature manages to steal the gun and and shoot the uh, husband character. And and now she's without her original baby, Mm -hmm. the lamb and her husband. And she's just completely distraught. And the film sort of boom ends like saw, that. I'm like, I know everybody hates it at that moment. Are when you it supposed to hear right laughter? There. Because everybody was fucking laughing. During the film, yes. You were supposed to hear laughter. Well, it is a end? ridiculous situation. Oh, at the, at end? the end? Oh, I didn't hear yeah, laughter. People were laughing. People were laughing. I had yeah. to fucking run. They were laughing. Run. Yeah. yeah. No, they were it laughing. Was, well, okay, I thought that's, of, uh, what's it, that? This is not a crowd pleasing film. Oh, okay? no. Okay. You're going to go to this fucking well, film. Well, that's what 824 is. 824, yes. you're going to have laughter at the end. You're going to have what? You're going to have, this is stupid. No, but. like you were saying, I did pick up on those hints. Like, you would see, like, them are kind of quiet together, like, having coffee. It's like, oh, would you like to go to the past? She's like, oh, I would like to go to the past. She's putting up clothes, and then she's walking away. You can see that little swing there. It's like, oh, okay. So they lost the they, they tell you all right yeah. at one point. They yeah, go to the later grave on. Of yeah. the, later on, but I was uh, of the looking at that. Daughter. I was like, and I'm picking up the pieces. Ada. I know what's going on. So. Ada. Ada. And then, like, at the very end, I thought of uh, that movie, Sorry to Bother You, or something like that. Mm-hmm. That you remember that? Yeah. Where those fucking horses come out. I fucking hated that movie. I, I did not like one. that. That was like <laughs> that one absurdist I, comedy that I fuck? thought was fucking stupid. Didn't make me laugh. I hated that. I like Lamb much better I than. Probably watched that one. I know you I, would. Yeah, that one's I know you would. At least there's stuff happening in it in your occasion. And you get mm-hmm. like sort of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle costumes oh, with the horses. <laughs> Don't watch that film, sucks. <laughs> But they would say, "Don't watch this film; it sucks." Yeah. So, anyways, um, go go, go go ahead. What, 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 what they farm for say? ninety minutes. They find a lamb baby, and uh, they replace their daughter. The lamb baby yeah, is cute. The There's brother shows moments. up. He's constantly. He's like he spies on the wife. He's like trying to check being her creepy. out. He's this being guy's creepy. A fucking weirdo. He doesn't really serve any purpose. You think at one point that and he's going he to kill the daughter. Um, Turns out that was a. Dream sequence. Yeah, and so like none of this stuff ever actually happens, and I thought it was going to go into an interesting situation where it's like, oh, they they are yes. using this as a coping mechanism. Society won't understand. Mm-hmm. Nope, that doesn't do anything because they didn't want to write any didn't story. That didn't go that direction. Yeah, that would have been better. Well, it's not right, a direction. So it's a demon, and then a society. None of that. No, it's just like it's about grief and loss, and and then what do you call it? A cautionary tale. You know, don't fuck with nature kind of thing. It's in my interpretation. Yeah, yeah I don't know. A giant man, man, ram is, is, man a, ram is a nature thing. But. Well, you killed that guy's wife. You killed the man beast's wife. It wasn't his wife. He, you know, it was a one-time thing. It was <laughs> cold know, at night. They were cuddling. And blizzarding. Maybe that was but his main squeeze. You, you don't know. Main squeeze? But that's why he <laughs> shot the guy. I can tell you that much. Yeah. It's not like, you know, it's... He, if. I wonder what would happen if she did not kill the fucking uh, mother, uh, the lamb mother. I mean, they just been they were just indiscriminately killing everyone. Like the the cat died, the dog died. Like they were just killing the animals for no reason. I think the thing was just the killing beast the, killed the, the, the dog. Beast, the be- and the no cat. Reason. That sucked. You actually hear I the cat. You hear, you hear the cat die. Yeah. No, they're they're outside attention. and you hear the cat make a horrible noise and you never see the cat again. Mm. So the cat's dead. No, so. I remember seeing the cat in the field, but I, if you say the cat's well, after, dead, no, the cat's after dead. the cat's in the field, the, the the cat dies. Okay, and so like this That's beast when is it happened, like the, off screen. The beast is killing everyone for no reason. So it's just, I think just the beast is just being a dick. <laughs> All right, well then, fuck he that beast. He's an asshole. <laughs> Stupid beast. And then the movie ends, and they don't. They're like, well, was that beast from folklore or something? No. Nope. See some cheeks as they walk away. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> don't forget. That guy would be cold as fuck. That guy would be cold as fuck. 
<laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe they're right, but I, I fucking enjoyed it. Look, from I like terrible things too. Me There's too. nothing wrong with that. Yeah. Like, look, you like this thing that <laughs> I think is terrible. It's totally cool. Yeah, it's totally cool. Okay, guys, that's it for the lamb, <laughs> for lamb, Let and that's literally it. Really it is thought. ninety minutes of farming. <laughs> Uh, no, it's not. It's 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 a bunch of farming, and then in chapter two and three, there's there's, spaghetti. there's, there's family. That's why Joe called it a heartwarming movie. I'm like, what? Are That's you what it about is. Family heartwarming. That's what it no, is. It's not. Okay, it's take not out that demon thing. guy. Just have the thing. It's like, oh, this is a cute. Put oh, like so little make it magical music. Pull out yeah, the message put out of the magical film? music. Okay. It this totally <laughs> works as a family. Would you film. have liked it then? <laughs> No, I don't no. want to see it. It's a family film. I don't want to see it. I'm glad I fucking dragged him to this. All right, that's it. Thank you all so much for watching, and we will see you on the next Angry Joe Show. Bye, Bye guys. guys.